I received this stove fan at no cost for the purpose of this review. Let's go ahead and take this thing out of the box and check it out. So in the box, you're gonna find the stove fan. This one's a cool stove fan. It's got actual dual motors here. So it's gonna move hopefully a lot more air. It has a little handle here so you can carry this when it's hot and it should still not burn you as long as you're not touching the main housing of the fan. You're just holding it by this little handle. It also comes with a stove thermometer to let you know the temperature of your stove. It has some ranges here that says the best operation temperatures, the cold temperatures, and then two hot temperatures. So that way you know about the range of what your stove needs to be to be able to run this fan. And of course it comes with a user instruction manual. So let's go ahead and use this thing. It's good to use a thermometer like this to test the temperature before you start putting the fan down to find the sweet spot on your stove to know where you're going to get the best distribution of heat. And it looks like that's probably our sweet spot right around here. So on low, it looks like somewhere right around here is the right temperature. Now, when you're using these type of fans, you need to know that on the back is all these electronics and wiring. So if you're going to put this in the heat, you're going to want to put it somewhere so that the components in the back of the fan are away from the really hot part of the heat. You wouldn't want to set this, let's say, up here in front, even if that's the right temperature, because then you're putting the back of the fan in the heat. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting the front of the fan in the sweet spot and I'm putting the back of the fan in a colder area so that way this still should pick up all the heat that it needs and still protect the back of the fan. All right, so that didn't take very long at all. Before the fans were running, you could put your hand above the eye here and feel all the heat just basically going straight up off of the cooktop. And now when I put my hand here, I feel almost no heat. Very little wasted heat up high. All the heat now is getting pushed straight forward and it is blowing all of that heat this way. So you are pushing that heat all around the room instead of letting it get wasted by just going straight up. And this fan uses absolutely no batteries. It's all being generated by the difference in temperature from the heat on the eye and then just the ambient temperature around it. On the back of this stove fan, I have put two, not super small, but not really large, but they're mid-sized paper clips. And I just put them right here and I push them against this little edge here to make them more sturdy. So now that I have the paper clips on the back, I can just slide this here. And since these fans are a little front heavy, they just sit right there nice and fine on the front of the grill. And if we give it just a second, they'll start heating up and turn it on. And there you go. After, I don't know, maybe a minute, didn't take very long. Now, instead of losing all of that heat out the top of this heater, it's pushing most of that heat forward and you're actually getting it out the front. So the Mr. Heater radiates heat pretty good from the bottom. It does a decent job there, but you lose a lot of heat out the top also. Well, this fan is now capturing that heat, generating the electricity it needs to turn these fans and then pushing the top heat that we would normally lose right out toward us. Pretty awesome. All right, so I hope this video was helpful. Thank y'all very much for watching. Y'all take care.